Hey guys, today's video is a big shout out to Kyle at World of Rockhounds. I uh, got a big box from him today and I wanted to give a shout out to him. And this is his information and his channel is on YouTube, World of Rockhounds. And he's awesome. He has a live stream every Saturday. Um, he works really hard. He spends like less like eight hours um, trying to help people. And if you go there, just give him a shout out. Thank you. So the first thing I want to show you is the pyrite that I got. Sorry for the finger. Um, to be honest, I got the pyrite and I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And it doesn't do it justice in the in the camera. It's really shiny and they're really beautiful. Uh, let's see. I'll pick it up. Let's see the back is flat and they're just really shiny. I didn't think the pipe, the caps were going to do very well, but I absolutely love them. Very shiny. I like this one the best. It's very beautiful. Okay. So next we're going to go to the sunstone that he sells. And here it is. Here's a little piece of it. And he has some cabs that are gorgeous. And then he has roll if you want to cab yourself. And it's very beautiful. Let's go see it. And let's put these over here. The next item I'm going to show you is, well, they're all my favorite rocks. You guys know that. And these are pretty. And these are going to be rainbow obsidians. And they're all beautiful. Let's see. Let's show you the color. Let's see. And all three of these have some form of purple and green and blue. And they're all beautiful. Let's see. One of them has some blue in it too. There you go. You get that color on that. They're beautiful. And they have a really nice beveled edge. You can see. And um, the polish on them are fabulous. The next thing I'm going to show you is this beautiful little quartz crystal. And uh, let me pick it up so you can see it better. Yes, it's very, it's faceted and it's very beautiful. It's got little rainbows in it. It's beautiful. There you go. Pardon my cheap camera. There you go. And the next I'm going to show you are the garden quartz that I got. All of these are gorgeous. They're polished very nicely. And they're all very clear. This one's my favorite right here. Looks like a little desert yard. This one's very clear on the other side. It's very beautiful. I love them all. I can't say one's my favorite. I always pick a favorite and then I'm like, no, that one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. They're all gorgeous. Okay, so give me a second. Next, we're going to pull up the beautiful Chevron Amethyst cabs that I got from him. These are beautiful. Okay, here they are. They are all gorgeous. That one is my favorite because it's got the clear quartz on top, or the milky quartz if you want to call it. One of my favorite things is when there's more than two or three different kinds of minerals or stones together. But technically, they're both quartz. But, you know what I mean. And then I like this one right here. Because it looks like a candy cane. Look, what is it? Not a candy cane. Candy corn. Yeah. Looks like a candy corn. But the patterns are all beautiful. And they're all a little bit shaped differently. And I, that's what I liked about it. These weren't like um, they were manufactured off of a um, conveyor belt. You know, they're all different. And they're all unique. And the patterns are different. And I, I needed one of each. Because that's what Angie does. She needs one of each. And the prices of these were very affordable. They were all between 4 and $7 for the uh, Chevron um, cabs. So again, if you're not busy on Saturday, go visit Kyle on his channel, World of Rockhounds. You don't need to buy anything. You just come and chat. I'll usually, I'm usually there 
um, trying to, not to buy, but obviously always picking something out and saying, I'll pay later, I'll pay later. And he always lets me. So I love Kyle. Kyle, shout out to you. I love you. These are the these are the um, labradorite caps. Labradorite is my favorite uh, mineral rock. Um, so um, yeah. So and they're beautiful. Look at all the different colors. Okay, so the ones that he, these are uh, considered a um, gray a gray, gray labr labradorite um, because you can see through them when you pick them up. So they would be considered a light gray, but they all have really, really great colors to them. And they make great calves. So I've ordered a handheld drill because nobody trusted me with power, power, um, power drills, um, you know, power tools. So I'm going to try, I think I might try on one of the Chevron, um, calves trying to put a, a drill a hole through and see how that works. Um, although the Labradorite is a softer material, I might try on something else, not one of these, because these are so beautiful. I would hate to ruin them. Um, I got some fluoride in, so I might try the fluoride, because it's really, it's softer, and see how I do with drilling a small hole through. Yeah, but these are the Labradites. That one's gorgeous. And I don't even need to pick these up. These will just... Oh, this one I'll pick up. This one's a little bit darker. There you go. This one's got a little bit of blue on the bottom. And several of them have a, like a little bit of a blue... I um, mean, a pink hue to them. But you have to look at them to a certain... To, you know, a certain way. So, that has got a blue on the side of it. So, I've seen this type of cab right here go for up to $60. Um, so, his prices are very fair. And again, the color, the polish, everything is just perfect. Um, there's no scratches. Everything is just perfectly done. But again, these are all like, different shapes, different sizes, different colorations. Whoever polished the Labradorite knew what they were doing. Um, they knew how to get the best color out of them. And again, this is light. This is light gray. You can see there's no color that way. Um, but they knew how to get the color out of them. And they're not dyed. These are all natural. Um, so they just had really real talent with the Labradorite. Well, with all of this stuff all together. Um, so I would recommend if you're looking for things like this to make your own jewelry. Because that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to make my own jewelry. I'm not looking to make a lot of money or make or even probably even sell them. I'll probably give them away. But I'm... I wanted to do something with my time, and so this is why I bought them. Um, so again, I'm going to say his name again. Kyle at World of Rockhounds. Go spend some time with him on Saturday, and then go visit Tyler and, and everybody else on, on later on on Saturday. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please give it a like and make leave a comment. Or uh, if even if you tell me to stop buying stuff. <laughs> but everybody have a good day. And I really appreciate everybody in the group being so nice. And just take care of yourself. Bye.